moon in Leo, kids. Red Robe Astrology, August 16th. The new moon hit at 2.38 a.m. Pacific time, so we are in it. This is such a rich and juicy new moon. First of all, it's in the sign of Leo, where we're looking to shine brightly, focus on our personal gifts and talents, and put them out in the world in a kind of, you know, <laughs> bigger way. Leo rules the sun, but also the heart center. So we're really talking about setting intentions about what makes our heart sing, and then putting that into the world in a more brilliant sort of way. Um, but we are not without the deep, juicy shadow work and emotional intimacy processes because this new moon is conjunct both the retrograding Venus in Leo and black moon Lilith in Leo. Retrograding Venus means we're reworking how we give and receive love in emotional patterning below the surface of our, of our conscious awareness. And black moon Lilith is a pure shadow point where by virtue of Venus connecting with her during this retrograde cycle, we're getting more in touch with the shadow shadow material that keeps us from loving more fully. The entire Leo stellium is squaring Uranus, the great awakener. 90 degree angle with Uranus means anything can happen and probably will. Lots of pivots, reversals, shifts, and changes. Um, all sorts of things could be happening out of nowhere during this sort of, not only this couple of days of the new moon, but also the lunar cycle itself has this crackling you know, unexpected sensibility built into it. There's an incredible grand earth trine being formed by Mars and Mercury and Virgo. So that's where we set intentions with the mind and put our desires into our bodies and our choices and our actions. And then <clears throat> Mercury and Mars will trine Pluto. So depth and gravitas and personal power is accessible to us. And then of course, the third corner of the grand earth trine is Uranus in Taurus, where anything can happen, it probably will. And Jupiter in Taurus, the planet of manifestation itself. It's a perfect, stunning moment to set powerful Leonian intentions, but it's a little bit of an unstable energy. Read the article, kids. It's everywhere. If you don't see it near you in, say, Facebook, uh, you might have to go to a biographical information area on the app and, and push the little blue-looking uh, linky-link thing. All right, kids, have at it.